and welcome to the Western Isles Dungeons and Dragons stream. My name is Sam Sorensen. I am the dungeon master of this here Dungeons and Dragons stream. Uh, the Western Isles is a West Marches style D&D game, which means that uh, rather than have just an ordinary group of players who play every week, instead we have a roster of about a dozen players who uh, they kind of pick their own parties and they pick their own missions. They go out and they come back. It's very much a sort of more open, freeform, sandboxy shared information in indexical storytelling mode of playing D&D. Uh, this is a sort of an experimental D&D stream, obviously. We use some homebrew rules, we use some homebrew methods, we use some homebrew systems. Uh, while I check our cameras, make sure they're good, uh, we're gonna go around in a circle and describe both what our real names are, what our characters' names are, and like a brief description of who our characters are. More than just race class, please. All right. um, hi, I'm David. I play Brock, the half-work fighter. Yeah. Let's rock <laughs> shtick. Let's, Let's rock shtick. Uh, rock likes to smash and slash things with big weapons. There you go. I'm Allie. <laughs> I play Crimson, the tiefling druid. Uh, she is basically uh, small and angry and hot-headed and just ready to fight all the time. Oh, yeah. Like an angry teenager, right? Exactly. She's 16. She's yeah. angsty. It's about what you'd expect. She gets along well with Rock. Yeah. <laughs> I am Jake. I play Tacker Brooks, the human barbarian, the washed up sailor who found adventuring in the Western Isles. Um, I'm Caleb. I play uh, Antaeus Aurelius. He's the paladin of uh, uh, Gaia. His, his shtick, if you will, is being big, um, dumb, <laughs> stupid, uh, and apparently attractive. What? And Taze has always been hot. Taze is hot. Yeah. Dom. Well, like, like, I've been told that he is hot. Dom posted the photo of Antaeus and was like, whoa, that boy. Antaeus' <laughs> two most defining characteristics are he's hot and he's dummy thick, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. There's other things to shake. Dummy thick. Yeah, so like, like you know you know the, the triangle of boyfriends, right? Or the it's Venn diagram. It's triangle of girlfriends, Venn diagram of boyfriends. Okay. Ali, do you know this? No, I do not. Okay, so this is, it's, tri it's triple for circle and diagram. We always do like a pre show ramble anyway. Um, so there's there's triple Venn diagrams. Uh, one Venn diagram is hot, one of them is nice, and one of them is dumb. Okay. Or one of them is smart, sorry. So it's hot, nice, and smart. And so if you have a guy who's hot and dumb, then, you know, or if you have a guy who's hot, sorry, hot and nice, and he's dumb. Or if you have a guy who's nice and smart, he's ugly. If you have a guy who's hot and smart, he's a jerk. If you have all three, then obviously he's gay. <laughs> That's great. I love this. Nice yeah. But, yep. but dumb as a brick. Yep. <laughs> I think it, like, he's just so far removed from the smart that he's like almost not yeah. um, It's like, worth mentioning that if you want to see our characters' exploits outside of session, we have a Discord. Um, oh, and I should also explain, this, uh, this, tap, this, this game is tracked more or less in real time, which means that if a group of players go out, um, say today, Tuesday, March 9th, or April 9th, Jesus, <laughs> um, and they spend three days out on a mission, uh, then they will be gone for three days, which means the rest of our of our uh, adventuring gang. It's not a party. What is it? It's a adventuring uh, tap room. Adventuring our troop. A troop. Sure. Yeah. Uh, gang. Squad. Pack. What's the most chaotic and awful thing you can describe? Clusterfuck. Brigands with a harder goal. I think we're a clusterfuck. The other remainders, the remainders of the clusterfuck of adventurers that make up the Western Isles, will not know what happens to them for three days because they don't watch these streams generally, and <laughs> they also. Uh, they won't be in, the, in our Discord. But if you want to, you can check it on our Discord. Links are below in Twitch. It'll also be below on YouTube, which we put the VODs up afterwards. Um, hello, if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so you can, you can see what's going on in real time. Um, we're recently returning from week-long break-ish. Um, I was gone for a week because I had to run some stuff here, other games. I know, I'm cheating on you guys. <laughs> um, but we did have one, what we called a tap room session, which was where it was just party members just talking in tap room during the week of the dead. Okay. Uh, other prelude. Oh, today the party is heading back up the Beanstalk. They went off to, not too long ago, to meet with the Sky King once more uh, to reclaim their rewards, whatever they may be, for slaying the silver dragon they slew last session. Our reward is the opportunity to slay a gold dragon. <laughs> Your reward is exposure. I'll tell all my giant friends they're super good. <laughs> What giant friends are all dead? You know, it's dang, does not. Yeah, I have more questions. Mm -hmm. for you. Uh, do you have a big prodigy? <laughs> you still haven't picked your feet? 
All right, so Throck recently hit 12. <laughs> um, Throck recently hit 12, and... So... Uh, something with quandary. Just take great weapon fighting. That's that's fight. Fight. That'll, that'll be the most fun one. Are there any cool half specific ones? There's Orgish Fury, but it's okay. Yeah, okay, it's not. They didn't follow the short cigarette or cigarette. Which blood? Um. I don't know, Saturday was only one of the things. Oh, take Prodigy. Yeah. Or Dex was the first. No, take Prodigy. Which language do you take? Prodigy in athletics? Hmm? Yeah. Oh my god, is Throck gonna take common? <laughs> <laughs> Um, say. Who knows? Okay, so with Throck now having Joe's in his feet, uh, <laughs> you all head out today. Um, what is the weather like today? It's. Uh, what is the weather like today? Good. Uh, she's gonna do that. So, so as you step outside, it's sort of a, a, a misty, slightly drizzly April day. Um, I mean, stepping out, there's like a. As you squelch along the beach, um, you know, the clouds hang low. They're not particularly thick. I mean, the sky is gray, but it's. Like, it's not like it's, like, dense fog. It's just sort of that, like, omnipresent, mm, like, slightly hazy fog. You know what I mean? Uh, Crimson's gonna do a craft. Oh, okay. So yeah. Some of that, um, in your sort of summoned sphere is you can see... Let's make some rolls. Um, so you are, initially, it is sort of this gray, murky fog with more rain coming out of it, and then it vanishes in a, in a buffet of wind. Okay. Do you have some, do you have some thoughts, Antaeus? <laughs> Performance. Animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, are you climbing the Beanspike? Are we climbing ourselves? Oh, it's worth mentioning. Party leaves the last chance in the tap room, their home base. Outside of which is a very large black pyramid they cleared some months ago, and then also an enormous beanstalk, 50 feet in diameter, rising high into the sky through the fog and into the clouds. How much time before we start describing the black pyramid as the lich layer of cave? He didn't seal it, though, did he? He said he did. I don't know if he actually did. I mean, he sealed the inside. He said he, he sealed, sealed it. Oh, did he? Like, the first room, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Check it out. Um, yeah, we should tie ourselves together again. Yep. Yeah. 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 Who wants to do that? He's going to do that. Right. Someone <laughs> that is not that one. So, I know not. Sure, exactly. He did. Why didn't he do that? Oh boy. Um, right. <laughs> okay, first yeah, first knot? Four. Four? Hell yeah. That's one Second knot? Seven. What is the what's the climbing order? Um what, what did you what did you do last time? Rock. Was it on Tasty? Okay, so I think it was on Tasty, Rock. Crimson attack. Yeah. Second is the thirteenth. Okay. That's so first was Antaeus, that's rock, this that was okay. rock crimson. Here we go. <laughs> And then nice. 17, 13. Nice. And, sorry, what? 17, 17 13. 13. So There's only three. There are two more. No. Oh, then. What was I mean, it's Antaeus to Throck, Throck to Crimson, oh, Crimson Tagger. Okay. So what was, okay. what was the... What then was 17. The, okay. Uh, let's get some wood rest music. <laughs> oh, uh, all the music you're hearing in the stream comes from either the collective works of Kevin McCloyd, um, Jeremy Soule's album, The Northern Diaries, that he made available for streaming, or um, the music from The Witcher by M Marcin Prizibilovich? I butcher that name every time. It's it's the guy who writes most of the mu Witcher music. If any of those would like us to stop using music, contact us, we'll stop. Please don't strike us. <laughs> um, no lawsuits, please. Yes, please. Poor college students. Yes, hence why we use webcams propped up with duct tape. <laughs> Sometimes we'll do a, like, Here's our stream setup video, and you'll see how bad it all is. Don't, don't show them. Don't. Yeah, absolutely don't. <laughs> oh also, the New York State, so we can actually get slammed for appropriation. Oh, oh no. You what? New York State is like the only one who has a very specific, like, um, like copyright. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. 
So you all head outside into the mist. Mm -hmm. The snow that was once coated the islands during the winter months is almost entirely gone. You can see there are like the occasional like clump and patch here and there, but the uh, mostly it's just narrow gray pine trees. Everything is damp. You can hear the chirp and crick and snap of insects and animals moving their way through the forest. So you stand here on the stony beaches. What do you do? Um, we head to the beanstalk. Okay. You walk roughly 100 feet over to the base of the beanstalk. So we tie ourselves. And then, and then walks yeah. like toddlers in a line by a rope. Yes. Okay. When you got 20, it's 25 feet. 25, 25 feet between each other? We did the math last okay. time. Yeah. I just think it's funny. Uh, but yeah, so yes, we walk to the beanstalk and I guess we start lying. Yeah. Okay. Ascend. As you ascend, ascend, I need everyone to make me three athletics checks. The lowest I can roll is 14. <laughs> <laughs> do you have now like a plus, I guess plus 13? Do we plus get 13? advantage with the gear now? Yeah. That just means if you fall, you won't fall. Gotcha. Yeah. Please remember to not roll straight on the table. Right. I need to write this down. Alright, I got a 22, a 17, and a 26. Uh, say it again. 22, 17, 26. Okay. Crimson? Uh, Crimson got a 22, uh, 7, and a 23. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, nice. Tackard. <laughs> 21, 12, 18. Okay. And Tess. 15, 7. <laughs> yes. 13. 7 was a nap 1. <laughs> my, my 7 was a 3. <laughs> um, so while there were some scuffles and drops and stumbles and near misses due to your climbing each other, or cinching each other to each other and your climbing gear and all the rest of your things, none of you fall properly. I mean, you do fall a short distance and the rope catches you and you have to climb back up again. Um, however, as you work your way up through the, through the first hour into the second, as the ground grows ever further beneath you into the third, finally into the fourth hour, as you continue climbing higher and higher past the clouds. Um, as you break through the cloud line and continue climbing, the sky has changed from its normal gray and blues to sort of a dusky purple and blue and red. And the fringes is darker, and in the center of the sky, you can see sort of like a gradient ascending upwards is a pale blue color. The sun now rotates around the edge of the horizon surrounding you. As you find yourself now stepping onto the, uh, the base of an enormous floating island, forested and tranquil. Because of some of your bad rolls, the fact that you were just climbing four hours straight. Um, Crimson and Takran both suffer one level of exhaustion. And Teus, you suffer two. Oof. Oh! Yeah. Oof. That's, really That's tragic. tragic. So for reference, that means you have disadvantage on ability checks and your speed is halved. Oh, man. Uh, it's only half 20, right? You have 40 speed? No. I, oh, because you're hard? No, you get fast movement at five. Oh, uh, shoot. You can fast movement at five, and there's an only if you're not wearing armor. That is true. Yeah. Uh, yes. Or not wearing heavy armor or something. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, I know. So, Mateus, you are, you are quite tired. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, I am tired. and Crimson, you are, you're both, you know, I mean, you've been climbing for hours. <laughs> and Mateus, you are not feeling well at all. The rock, you're fine. The rock's fine. He's stretching. <laughs> he's, he's, he's partially exhausted by the sheer anxiety of being that far off the ground. The rock's a prodigy when it comes to athletics. This is kind of weird. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> it's not even a pun. It's the same word. <laughs> I wouldn't See? mind if we just a rest. It's fine. Do you hear me? Lay on hands can't do with disease thing to cure exhaustion, right? Exhaustion is not a disease. What would be letting this kind of like uh, one of the restorations? One of them. Greater the restoration. Greater the restoration explicitly says, like, oh, okay, deals with exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Do you have your diamond cocaine? <laughs> if I die and they bring me back, because it costs no materials, will I still be exhausted? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if we reincarnate oh into a new body? Then no. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> cool, let me come and grab my oils real quick. No, no, because no, he's a zealot park. He doesn't need them. Oh shit, you're right. I can just... <laughs> That's why I said it. Good thing Crimson totally has that prepared today. <laughs> Welcome to We're Playing Destiny now. <laughs> Man, if Destiny rolled up a new, a new race every time they were wild. <laughs> Yesterday I was a robot, and today I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, can we see the castle or the road at all? Yes, yeah, so you can now see in the distance stretching across this island. I mean, the, the trees here are rich and lush and verdant. There are, you know, animals every which way. You can hear the gurgle of brooks and streams. In the distance you can see a 
uh, sort of silvery white, many, many uh, steepled, many, many minareted uh, castle in the distance. Do we see any tracks by the uh, like front of this this um, where the meat stuff connects that might be good enough to find people wearing the same shoes as us? Make, a, make an investigation roll. <laughs> okay, so it's a flat roll, which is a <laughs> eighteen. Uh, looking around, you can very faintly see here and there things have been shifted, but it's been. You know, it looks like it's been some time, right? These are tracks that have been gone for a long time. Okay, would a long time be longer than three weeks? You have no idea. Okay. Didn't think so. Oh, it was the yep. faster time. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't help because we... Does somebody, want to, does somebody want to recollect exactly what happened last session? Oh. <laughs> um, I don't... It doesn't matter who goes. So we okay. Uh, just do like it. Go like it. Wait, but... but do, do, Jake, do, do it. Do, so oh, hold on. Wait, wait. But we climbed the beanstalk. Um, we found a castle, this lovely forest, and then the castle. We went to the castle. The castle has giants. Um, we ended up talking to the king of the giants. The sky king. The sky king. The king of the sky. Oh, the, the king of the sky on Sky King Island. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Something it was, to that effect. It was the, the realm of the sky king. The realm of the like sky that. king. Like, I had it written down somewhere, but I don't have it written down here. The sky yeah. king, king of the sky. The ground quivers before me. <laughs> we told them about the Osterlochian giants in their and fall. The lack thereof. The lack yeah. thereof. Um, <laughs> the he was betrayed them, and he was like, "Ah, oh, shit, dog. Yep. Go kill the one that's here, then." And we went and did, and then her her wonderful floating rock collapsed and fell through this. Is it? Demiplane? Pocket dimension? We this were, is a demiplane. We're in a demiplane. demiplane. We fell plane. out of... Okay. Yeah, we, we fell we, we into learned the that, astral plane. Yeah, we learned that the demiplane that we're in is sort of between the astral plane, the ethereal plane, and kind of near the plane of air. Um, and yep. we fell into the astral plane. Yeah. Uh, That's not deep lore. I know. <laughs> just a Surface fast. lore. That's like, just planar lore. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of floated there for a while until we... But also not that long. Also not that long. <laughs> <laughs> Until we fell into Mount Celestia. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Like, we fell into Mount Then we spent a couple days climbing so up an like infinite. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, a we week sent climbing an infinite set of stairs, um, in which not only took us a couple hours not to get there. Infinite because we had not. Yeah. 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 It was a stairmaster. <laughs> From Tacron's perspective, it was an infinite set of stairs. We didn't have 70 power stars yet. Uh, <laughs> and, and then, uh, and then, and um, then we, we sailed back and. Seriously. Yeah, I lost Sorry. 20 years of my afterlife to a Githyanki ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and then we returned that night. Yeah, I mean, like the guy you were bumming against was Githyanki. He was. Yeah. That is true. Oh, Spoilers so for our viewers so, Caleb was the one playing the person who won against Jake. And I have I, a lot of guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope uh, David definitely didn't metagame and choose giant for the language he learned. No, I didn't. That wouldn't make sense. Good. That why would Brock, that why Brock learn giant? Because that would be too useful. I am very curious how Brock learned whatever language he learned. Oh, so he, he learned common because he's been good. in this tap room for six months. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain it over. Fine, Cleaver. Someone else to come back with Orcish so they can talk to Brock and like his normal talking voice, like. Kyle already. Did anyway, that. I know. anyway, <laughs> so uh, the party basically. Well, so you missed the last part though. Was that? When the party returned... I, no, I said they returned that night. Oh, yeah, you returned that, that same night that you left. Yeah. Despite, right. After like, spending... Despite weeks. what felt like a couple weeks. D- yeah. Despite a week in Mount Celestia, what felt like somewhere between a second and an eternity in the astral yeah. plane. It's also unclear if we aged in the same rate. Oh, we don't know. Who knows? No, which we don't know. I don't think you age in the astral plane. Because isn't that whole, that, that whole, like, um, this is... Like, We're not taste though. No, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so you find yourself now on the on the enormous floating island, in the midst of dense verdant forests. The castle. Okay, um, so you start walking through the woods. Uh, what? No, I said I'm also gonna head to the castle. But... Oh, okay. I'm I'll follow crunch. Crimson. I'm going to crunch. Okay. And Teus quickly lags behind the rest of the group as you all start walking through this forest. I'm walking at my normal speed. You guys are just walking real fast. This is not the same. <laughs> Speed. So you are running really quietly as everyone else just books <laughs> <laughs> Everyone sprints. Yeah, it's just like, I do. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, the rest of you be running and the guys will be walking. <laughs> um, Sorry, last thing before I be, I should have brought this up pre session. Why AC is 1719 now? Because I'm wearing the respite of the hood. Oh, no, my HP is 136, by the way. Oh, uh, okay, let's just do this now. Let's just do this now. I wanted to get it out of the way. I forgot about that. 17, oh, 19. You're level 8 now, right? Yep. You, you skipped 7, didn't you? Yep. You joined the club. How much health do you have now, Antaeus? Uh, 95. <gasps> so, for boy. viewers out there who might not know, uh, both Crimson and Antaeus have skipped level 7 now for various missions. I remember level 7. That's good. <laughs> Takrin, what level are you right now? 9. 9. So, I'm at 113. Uh, okay. 9, 9, 12. You had 12 health level? Yep. Jesus. That D12 hit die. Yeah. Damn it. That sick. <laughs> Dagrand is quite literally the thickest lad. Absolutely. <laughs> Many C's. And Brock, you're 12. That's right, because you just say, like, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how much will the you have, Brock? 136. It's like about 7 C's in Dagrand's thickness. No, it's only 5. It's equal to his constitution modifier. No, no, no. That's why it's C for he's constitution. Also, but he's also a sailor. He sails to 7 C's. No, it, it's like with. Uh, it's like with there are more uh, than 7 C's in D&D. How many C's are there? I don't know, but they're, I mean, it's more or less than seven. It's not exactly seven. If it's not alliterated, then it's useless. Guys, it's, it like, it's, like, it's, like, the, it's like the, level, the names for each level of each class. For mm. a barbarian, for Tacrin, it's just he adds a new C onto thick, just like how Willivore adds a new E onto female. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Willivore is, is our bard who, oh, who made a joke about, about having had some success with females in the past. <laughs> he was, we were like, he, was, he mentioned something about it and he just said girls. And we were like, what kind of girls? That's very vague. And he's like, oh, you know, females. And we were like, what the fuck? We've never let him live it down for the rest of his life. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We use that, I use that uh, ContraPoint skip as much as I can. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you begin walking towards the castle. It doesn't take you long moving through the woods due to Tacron's high speed. Um, you arrive at a enormous several hundred foot long stone bridge. Uh, it starts wide and broad and narrow, so at only 15 feet wide at its narrowest point. Before it crosses to the far side, you can see there is sort of a separate uh, floating island here with this enormous chasm between. Um, th this separate one is really just a mountain onto its own right. Um, a small one. And the castle is set onto the front of it. Um, you can see in the distance in front of the uh, wood and silver gates to this castle stand two figures. They look from this perspective just like regular people, but you realize as you stare at them Due to the distance and the scale of this castle, they're actually much, much larger than you are, or regular guards. I wave at them again. Damn it! <laughs> you wave? <laughs> One of them raises a hand and waves back. Yep, I can't wave. wave. <sighs> yeah, so they all show up and they're standing there looking at Antaeus just come panting out of the woods. <laughs> uh, we head on to the bridge. Okay. Start to cross. Start to cross the bridge um, as you walk across. You can just look down to your left, to your right, in all directions but backwards and forwards. There is not with this sort of, or rather beneath you is sort of gray clouds, and above you is the purple-blue of the eternal dusk of the sky here. Oh, look, there's bright <laughs> Um, so I guess if we get to the other side? You do reach the far side, where you can see now there are two guards clad in, in sleeveless tunics. Um, they are indeed giants standing easily, you know, uh, oh shit, how, I, how, how tall are these giants? I don't remember what the number is, because it's like, they're big. It's, it's like 20-ish like 20. feet, but like, they're all... The cloud is yeah. 22 and Storm is 24. Uh, like, definitely could be right. I know you said yeah. something around 20 ish last year. Yeah, like they're all 20 ish. Uh, okay. These ones are 24 feet tall. Um, only, made only higher by the, the wings of their silver plumed helmets. They carry spears in each hand. Uh, do these look like the same giants we encountered last time as guards? I mean, they're wearing the same uniforms. <laughs> so you're saying that all giants look the same to us? Y yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, like, they don't look like fire giants, but they look like, I mean, fair. like, in the same way that mortals all look, I mean, like, all humans all look kind of like the same to them. Yeah, fair. Like, you all look different because you have four different skin colors for four different people, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, what a diverse group. You know, right? Because <laughs> we five white people sit here. I know, right? I was going to say. <laughs> like, oh, look at this diverse group. <laughs> five white people, one of them a woman. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... um. <clears throat> Hello. Don't you? One of them says, "Hello." Hello. Uh, remember? Yes. Uh, we were here yeah, about three weeks ago. Mm. How long Not ago were we here? It has only been a week since you left. 
in the sense that, like, you, David, know other planets exist. Okay, sure. That makes sense. Let's go with that. Huh. Oh, actually, you took astronomy. Imagine pre-astronomy, David. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what planets are. <laughs> what brings you to the Sky King's halls? Killed the dragon that asked to. Hmm. Yes, we can came to his desk. Let know. Hmm. We see that when the other looks at it. Your dinaj grum badal. Thrummaz kadal maat no kurum. Gajdal yorda kada yaldunumda. Orda. Good. Wait here, please. You can see the other one swings the, the, the enormous wooden gates open. And these, these gates are easily 40 feet high. Um, and steps inside, you can hear the dush, dush, dush of the footsteps as it vanishes inside. The one still that looks down at you. Why did you not know how long it was? You said you went to other planes. <coughs> Which planes? Um, Astral. Hmm. After we fought the dragon, her island fell mm. out of this plane into the astral plane. Hmm. Ended it's worth mentioning as you have this conversation, all of you were creating your <laughs> <laughs> straight up. Yeah. Ended up in, um, Ante said it was called Mount Celestia, yes. I have heard of that. That's one of the heavenly planes, isn't it? Yes, it was quite mm. beautiful. It is a shame. You did not go to Eastgard. That is where I most desire to go. Mm. I imagine one day you will reach it. Thank you. Anything else you want to talk about in the next few minutes? Uh, what's his favorite color, Sam? <laughs> you ask him that? Throck asks him that? Sure. <laughs> What does Throck say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is asking. I like, totally like, was like, wow, you bitched out on that. Favorite cast? Yes. It's a joke. <laughs> Blue. Blue? Mm. What about yours? Mm. Maybe red. Mm. Like your cloak. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Like, um, we have some fall. What is fall? Season in um, plain drops from where leaves change color and fall from trees. Autumn. Mm. Autumn. Yes. Other name, yeah. Fall. Oh, cause the leaves fall. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Good name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you call winter snow? No, or it's still winter. Summer sun. Mm. Maybe Autumn. hot. Autumn's the only weird one. Hmm. You should call spring flower. <laughs> so, after that enlightening conversation, <laughs> a minute or two passes and you hear the <laughs> of the, uh, the giant coming back, which point the doors swing open. Um, you can now see the... Uh, guilt is not quite the right word because it's, it is silver, but the, the path in front of you through the gatehouse into the courtyard and the courtyard itself and all the walls here are made of elegant silver and pearl, diamonds and sapphires, Myriad incredibly expensive jewelries and precious metals layered across the ground from the walls every which way you might see um, As you walk, I mean it takes you several minutes to cross through the gatehouse into the just Enormousness of this courtyard. It's several hundred feet across easily over a thousand um, Just scanning around I mean, the walls here, you know They are in the same way the giants are easily four times your height. These walls are four times your height So they stand 150 200 feet high the towers rise sometimes up to a thousand feet into the air at the tip of their minarets Everything here is just enormous. You can see in front of you across the main sort of uh, part of this keeps courtyard is the, the great hall where you once set, set foot. The gates that swing open as well. And you can see the long uh, carpeted hall leading up to the throne upon which in the distance, I mean, a few thousand feet away, <laughs> you can see lounges of the Sky King once again. Go. Particularly, um, as you you cross. I mean, again, it takes you several minutes, right? Uh, walking. Yes. 
the three of you reach and Tess <laughs> coming up behind you. Um, One more. The Sky King lounges in his chair. He wears his sort of spiked silver crown with more. Uh, you can see his, his bright white uh, woolly mustache and hair. His bow sits on the throne next to him. You're alive. Yeah, we'll be alive in this moment. What took you so long? Uh, fell through some planes that uh, stuck inside during Week of Dead. What? Um, it's a thing in the aisles. <laughs> zombies. All right. Yes, it seems so. I'm sure you uh, are aware of things like this, but then the dragon, the dragon's magic told that uh, I on the loft wants to mines went down. Oh. I did not realize she was the one doing that. Mm. I didn't think she was that powerful. Who uh, did you believe? Some other dragon. Or other old magic. Seeing as that true. Make it as I roll. Proficiency now. Nope, it's still a ten. <laughs> um, it's it's hard to get a read. <laughs> um, as he sits there lounging in his chair, you know he's like he has the regular regular expressions of a human, but mm-hmm. it's just a little. Uh, it's just hard to get a read on. What? Uh, oh shit. Uh, what? What did she say? What did she do? How did the fight go? Tried to um, give gifts so that would leave instead of kill, mm-hmm. and then fought anyway. I admire your resolve. Mm. We promised we'd do it. Mm. Drop. Not a big fan of dragons. Uh, we were not about to, uh, not about to let our world go unfinished. We gave our word. Hmm. 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 I have a question for you all. Yes. I am at something of an impasse. Mm-hmm. I have tried every means I know, short of physically traveling there, to reach my brethren and cousins below, mm-hmm. in the material realm, and I have not heard from any of them, mm-hmm. which leads me to believe that, like you say, my kin are all dead, or in hiding, and now I'm uncertain of what I should be doing. Mm-hmm. I do not have the strength here with my, my god take on all the dragons beneath. We could kill some of them, certainly, but we would certainly perish in the process, and I have no intention of doing that. We would not ask such a thing. Not to die fighting the dragons, that is, yes. would appreciate help if they would give it. That is what I'm trying to... Make sure to know right now. What is exactly the best way for me to help? To avenge my fallen kin. Put these dragons in their place. Um, well, uh, if you will ever dwell on Nosplock at any time, or. No, I went to visit for a month or two, but. Confirm whether or not your king is truly gone since we were forced to touch down, if you could give us any means of doing so, or advice on how to do so. Or where to find me if hiding. We do know where school uh, is, so I don't know, but that's better. Yes, I, I fear his domain has been warded. Mm. So you would travel to each of those, to each of their domains, and... Good. If one. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
It would have had a benefit. I, I thought about simply flying there myself, but that might attract unwanted attention. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Especially uh, with the dragon to me that any giant could pre- that could threaten and just go on. Mm-hmm. If that belief was disturbed, exactly. who knows what could happen. Exactly. That is one option. Yes. I tell you of my kin's strongholds, and you travel there. What others do we have? I could ride down there and fight them, obviously, but... Yes. Um, if not, by itself could uh, have dragon slayer on its steps, could... Some, yes. Lend, whenever, um, rock and friends fight dragon. I hear what you're saying. Or other... Most of my weapons, I'm afraid, are good mm. for giants, yes. as you encountered. Yes. Perhaps, um, Tony has, uh, I suppose, reforged Who? it would, um, uh, the smooth. Uh, mm. I suppose reforging it would lose its dragon slaying property, though. If we took, say, something uh, large and put it into many weapons for us, small and... Likely, at least. I am not a smith myself, but I would imagine it would, unfortunately. Any here smith? Any giants that could maybe make smaller weapons? In theory, yes, but mm-hmm. it would take enchantments we don't have access to. Um, <coughs> uh, we... Uh, I think the, the best thing we are looking for right now is the means to arm ourselves with great power. We need Power in and see if any of your kin is alive and know where you can find such things, I'm glad we have to see them finding them. What? Didn't you just offer to help find my kin anyway? Well, yes. No, I'm just saying that that kind of deal would be equally as beneficial to us as it would be to be able to tell us where to find such powerful ones. Okay. It was so encouraged for a test, though, like, hey, you know, if we did this thing we already offered, it would, it would help us, too. <laughs> no, I think that's the deal that you can make to have to ask who's a other giant so fun. <laughs> well, you know best of your sources and power. What would you offer us? I would like nothing more than to ride down there and fight them. To die on board my steed, bow in hand, mm. screaming out my fury for all my fallen kin. I should like nothing more than to perish and to go to the hole. It is a truly lonely thing, even the last of one's kind. I am surrounded by my sisters and brothers, good kinsmen, but to know that all of them are dead. It did not truly hit me when you, when you first told me I was simply possessed of bloodlust, of vengeance, of fury. But in the days that have come since, I find myself Growing melancholy.
If any of you ever lost someone dear to you, someone you could not recover, even when you thought yourself powerful, that feeling of loss, that feeling of what once was in your control no longer is. I did not think myself invincible, but I thought I would be the first to die. I am so old. I have lived too long here in my windswept realm, my inherited. I am too old. I have lived for too long. Spine cleaver more than anything. <sighs> we would gladly join you, but we're not in a position to fight now. Just need some time. Today is not that day. When will come. And when comes, what would be the best way to let know? Hard to communicate. Yes, um, I was actually thinking about this. Uh, um, he dush, dush, claps his hands twice. Yordin Nafkaran, Thruzdim Dabal, Thruz Nashkadan, Gildad, Yor Dabana. You can see one of his guards clad in silver turns and dush, dush, out of the hall. Um, these may be a little large for you to transport, but you should try anyway. Uh, uh, stones. Mm. Um, seeing stones used to communicate like a mirror, but you look into it and you see the far side. Mm. Sounds useful. Looks like it'd be incredibly useful. Yes. Mm, my my power outside this domain is somewhat limited, and so it will. Unfortunately, you cannot you cannot use it all the time. Mm. But due to the crossing of the planes, but when you need me, I should be there. You can see the other guard just like stiffen slightly. Um, I have a, a question. Under, I was under the impression that the dark effects are in some way related to the chunks. Do you recognize this blade? He extends a single finger. It's like <laughs> yes, the size I of your head. Two, I put the toothpick and he's like, <laughs> as, as he does that, um, Darks can explain. Um, Dagger was key up. in Urzog's team. And then it ends with um, Ghost said was ally of giants turned them into knives said was this is a blade of mortals yeah. what did Urzog find said would somehow lead to great of blades if you know what that is I do know of the great of blades I have heard of it All right. I've never been there myself he reaches out <laughs> hands knife back to you like it's it's I mean, it's about you know six inches long, so it's one fiftieth of his height, roughly. So if you are six foot, it's about an inch. Yeah, a little over an inch. Yeah, so that's like like you know, yay big. <laughs> Said the knives would somehow grow in power and be used and just. I'm not sure. Urzog was always. Mysterious. He was a. He was a strange one. But the Grave of Blades was. Well, it was a. It served several purposes. It was a meeting site, a, 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 a court, a place to, to come and hold forth, where all giants met as equals. But it was also. A court, and that is where we settled our disputes. Dozens, if not hundreds, of giant corpses lie there, slain in duels for honor and duty and purpose. In the sight of 
mark. I'm not sure why Ozark would send you there. And I'm not sure why he would send mortals. Must be something divine. Must be, yes. But it was a site that was reserved only for giants. Our fell cousins, ogres and trolls were forbidden. Maybe since giants from falling wanted to send someone. But why send why send I'm sure. There's only one way to find out. Take care of those knives. Do not lose them no matter what you do. It's always um, at this point, the, the, the guard comes back. Um, you can see uh, they've got their, the spear on their back and the shield as well. And in each hand, about the size of like their palm. Uh, are two like large stones, like sphere, like like discs. Um, they set one of them down in front of you. It's about three feet across. Okay. <laughs> How much is it weigh? Um, as you lift it up, it's it's like a you know it's like a couple hundred pounds. It's a big heavy rock. <laughs> uh, I can carry it probably. I'll just be super covered. Yeah. You have amulet. That nope, it doesn't work. Plans. It's not a plane. We're just gonna tie Throck and Cacron together and we'll just, just tie it around Throck and carry it. Just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a tree. Tree. Actually, we'll definitely yeah. break. Right here. Magic items break. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, I mean, big rocks don't always break. <laughs> if we drop a big rock down a, uh, a giant beanstalk that we climb four hours Wait, up, <laughs> will it break? We don't even know if we can climb down the beanstalk. There are True. Like, <laughs> There are like Definitely. two possibilities if you drop it. It shatters, or it does like, it just like goes into the ground like 40 feet. It crashes into the last chance and kills everyone inside. Could you imagine? It's not our dead body that falls, this giant fucking uh, rock. I was really hoping that you guys last session were going to land on the material, and like they would just see like chunks of rock flung <laughs> in the distance. Oh, God. <laughs> it goes inside the last chance. Back Here's something falling. You look outside, you'll see a gigantic rock and it's straight <laughs> towards it's the last chance. Like a tidal wave that could have wiped out the last chance. Not like I'm, just imagining, I'm just imagining I'm just imagining the message when it, it says it crashes into it and everyone inside dies. And the outrage. <laughs> that rocks fall, you literally die. Rocks fall and die. Last time rocks fell on the last chance, we just destroyed two floors. <laughs> uh, you should explain right. that. So, actually, no. That was that was on stream, was wasn't stream. it? Yeah. Yeah, Never it mind. Was. We don't need to explain it. Go watch the old streams. They're on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube.com/slash/TheWestRats. <laughs> Episode two. I was yes when you went down the the. the uh, if I back. fall, rock falls. He dies. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah. 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 This guy can look to you, but yes, these uh these stones will allow us to communicate. Thank you. Yes. While we are still in the realm, is there anything else we can do in the future? So, is there any enemies that still dwell in this plane? In this plane? No. I mean, there are there are a few errant ones, but they're 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 not worth the trouble. They really. they make good hunting, good training, anyway. But no, I. There is someone I would like you to seek out. But I'm not certain if they're alive or if their domain is still theirs. Sure. Um, it was a, a, a cousin of mine. Um, a, a, a giant of stone. Her name was. Uh, her name was Ingweth. And in my youth, we were the best of friends. She dwelt in a, in a chamber, a place called, let me check my notes, because I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> you should also spell it. 
Yeah, what? Say, well, you're doing the you should also spell it. it. Ingweth? Yeah. Uh, Y-N-G-W-E-T-H. Uh, Likewise. <laughs> Why would I spell things normally when I can spell things not normally? <laughs> Like, if, if, if you're playing D&D &D and you don't cram your characters' names full of Zs, Ys, Xs, and G, and... Zs, Ys, Xs, Js, and Z, or... Er, J, G, X, Y, and Z are, like, the, like the go-to. Like, I just want to name all characters, like, J, Z, Z, Z. Can't forget about the apostrophes, though. Mm. Isn't that, like, the, That's only elves. Isn't that literally, like, the name of, like, one of the, like, books, um, the drow ones? Like, J, Z, 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 <laughs> and there's literally like four Z's in one name. An like elvish Z's. prince so powerful, his first name alone contained over 20 apostrophes. What am I looking for? He has 20 layers long. You're looking for the uh, Mark Ingwith. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm finding it. Sorry. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe in myself too. Thank you. Viewers, well, please, please. Clap in support clap. of Sam. <laughs> Please clap. Please clap. <laughs> she, she dwelt in a place called Undiar Yarta. In your tongue. Okay. Sorry. In your tongue, it's known as the 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 beneath uh, the, the the lower uh, heart. I guess the term underheart, you might call it. Uh. Um, it was in a on an island called Mumfjall. In spelling Undir Hyarta. Okay. U N D I R H J A R T A. Undir Hyarta. Mumfjall. But yes, Ingweth dwells, dwelt. She was once there. Um, you'll know her because she she bears a, a scar running across one of her eyes, stopping just short of the other. How would she obtain that? It was dealt to her by a dragon, and its talons red stone. I am not sure. No, Give me one second. I do, I do, I just have I haven't written down, I just gotta just gotta check it, sorry. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Drab, please. Drab could just not screw me, that'd be ideal. Um His name was Jordan Dane. J U R D E N D A I N. Jordan Dane. One more time. J U R D E N D A I N. Jordan Dane. He was known as the Night Baron. He was black. But I'm not certain what happened to him. What'd you say? I said that would be good. Don't forget, we're Skornag and Gornag. Right, so their names are usually... <clears throat> How long ago? Oh, hundreds of years back. Mm -hmm. You know if um, your name have any children? I don't know, no. Name is similar to other dragons. Then likely. Dragons oftentimes keep the, the last part of their names. But it could also be a sibling, potentially. Or a, or a parent or something. Yes. What is her kingdom like? Have you ever been there? It was far beneath you. I, frankly, I hated her kingdom just as she hated mine. But... <laughs> but we cared for each other, and so 
We persisted. We made a neutral ground. In the hills of all places. <laughs> But I, I do not know what happened to her. But she was to be the one who could tell you what those knives are. She knew who Herzog. She was one of the few Herzog would speak to on a regular basis. We'll do best to try. Thank you. Um, I have a character question. Is hmm? this guy King, like larger than the other giants? He's like twenty five feet tall instead of twenty four. Like oh, he's okay. like 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 if a big person in IRL is six three, he's the yeah. giant equivalent of that. <laughs> big boy. Oh, big is also relative. Yeah, big is relative. Just cast enlarge on Throck twice, he'll be that big. No, just uh, cast enlarge on Takran once, Whoa. and then he'll be thicker than anyone in the universe. <gasps> he'll be I wider than he is tall. Too thick. Wait. 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 of fire giant strength <laughs> which would give me st- stupid amounts of character weight not stupid but more than you what does it bring your strength to 23 23 um so what's 23 times 15 uh 200 plus uh, 23 times 5 is 115 yeah so this lab like I said is about 3 feet across and probably 6 inches thick It has sort of like, like it's, like, you, you know how um, sedimentary rock has those like layers to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's got that, but it's concentric. Going oh, hmm. All sort of this like pale, like gray, murky white color. Okay. Um, might need harness with some tough guys too. Oh, do you need help getting it down? Yes. Oh, that can be arranged. Wouldn't want to drop. Could just drop. I don't think it would. It's a piece of rock. How far did you climb to get here? Uh, four, four hours. hours. How fast do you climb? About 19 feet. Is that seconds? <laughs> 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 well, the, the, the way to think about it is you go, th- you walk three miles an hour, and you climb at half walking speed. Oh, okay. So. So because is that doubled by? No. No. no it's so it's one and a half miles an hour. So. Yeah. Well, by one and a half times four. Six, which is four times the length of the island. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> right. Is that right? The, this island's a mile and a half. Roughly, yeah. God, wow. That's awesome. It's about... Uh, Drock would you know. Someone part of the rocks, they have to how far it is. Oh, yeah. Would we be able to judge that Tackern, distance? Tackern, I mean, you, you know roughly how fast you climb. Tackern, okay. Tackern just self. Um, um, we climb probably four times as high as the island's wide. Oh, you could drop the rock then. That's fine. Interesting. Um, I mean, I can still help you if you need help, but... It would be better than this. Who knows where we play? Oh, God, that's so true. It could be part of the fun. <laughs> Sam, that's you, you talking, and we can tell. Cloud giants are so, so jokesters. Home is, home is near the green stuff. Dropping the other side. Could, but um, <laughs> it might. Not worth the risk. Um, it's fully... If you insist. <laughs> Before we go, since I'm mm. not sure how long until uh, we will speak again, I have one more question. Yes. Um, you have to forgive me if it is if it's somewhat ignorant. Oh, it's sometimes difficult to tell a myth from. Tales of some ancient uh, giant the size of a, a, a mountain. Do you, do you know such thing? Uh, I know of uh, They, in thousands of years ago, when Amon created the world, they were elder giants. They stood easily a dozen times my size, even. 
the the bones were the size of buildings. I don't know of one that was the size of a mountain, but elder giants never stopped growing like dragons. And they lived for millennia, aeons. So it is possible that we are stride on the bones of mountain on the bones of giants themselves. Really? Um, massive skull. A big. Mm, not remember exactly, but much, much larger than. Hmm. Okay. That definitely could have been one. Yeah. Mm. Something that would have seemed like a lot of Creatures from the previous age are always larger, mm. but very few of them are left. So they're always like, larger. Always larger. Oh. I have no idea. Yeah. Elder Giants, they didn't even speak our tongue. Or at least, all the records indicate they didn't. They spoke a kind of primordial tongue. I mean, but but not not primordial is the... Primordial we speak on the plains is different. Oh. There's, I, mean, say, I, I say primordial, but it really should be primeval. It's, it's the tongue of thunderstorms and crashing waves and earth rumbling it's 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 a kind of ancient natural it shares more with the tongue of druids or the tongue of elementa modern primordial than it does modern giant which is frankly though it pains me to say it closer to dwarvish of all things <laughs> You did not tell me you spoke primordial. Uh, it's you. <laughs> Ingwith would like you. He switches back. So what you heard, like, he swapped from common to go, Krishna, du. Or, how do you, what does your primordial sound like? Because you speak a Terran dialect, don't you? Um, no, it actually just could be straight primordial. Right, but, I mean, but like, you but, must have Terran inflection. I mean, I yeah. presume you have Terran inflections. So it would be kind of, like, I guess it would be just like kind of rough and almost entirely hard symbols. Yeah, so there's the back and forth. What the Sky King speaks is way closer to Orin. Like, it, it's, yeah. it would be like, what's the equivalent? It's, it would be like meeting, like, somebody with a real deep, like, Southern Louisiana accent, mm-hmm. talking to somebody with like a really intense like Boston Southie accent. I'm like, yeah. technically those are the same languages, <laughs> but, neither understand what said. but like it's really like uh, like it takes you a second. I'm like, got it. Okay, that's what they said. Like it's not it's not quite natural because the yeah. Sky King speaks an Oren, yeah. Oren, Oren. How do you say that? Uh, Oren dialect. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Would you like to stay for a while? Sit at my table for a meal. Yeah. Sure. Oh, it works. Well, what was... Daran <laughs> You hear you someone yell from deep into the castle. Grajna Gabadal! Gorjdin Yorda Trananadal! My carpenters will be confused by your chairs, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here, um, we have no rooms of your size, but... <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Claps again. <laughs> and you see one of the guards looks at you, slams his spear on the ground, and then turns and starts to walk. Follow him. Follow him. <laughs> I will help me. What? I will help me take us. Okay, so half supported by Takarin, you all... <laughs> run. You're led up, uh, y- you're sort of down a hallway until you reach some stairs. Um, you know, regular stairs are about inches high, and so these ones are about four times that, so they stand about three and a half feet high. Um, they're not quite that high, but they're close to it, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> y- you spend a few minutes sort of like scrabbling until eventually this giant guard just looks at you, stows his spear, and just scoops all of you up <laughs> underneath one arm, and then just walks up the stairs with you. <laughs> it's, 
It's a bizarre feeling to be hoisted around. You're all four of you pressed tightly against each other, nice. against both like the cloth and the sweat and the armor of this mm -hmm. giant. <laughs> um, it's not entirely, it's not, it's not terrible. You've all been in worse conditions, but it's not exactly pleasant as you were just manhandled, basically. <laughs> um, before you eventually are, are brought to, you, you can sort of half tell a door swinging open into a broad open chamber with wide streaming windows um, before you're all just like lobbed, dumped onto this huge bed. Yes. <laughs> I mean, just bouncing on these mattresses that are like impossibly springy and fluffy. You know, you step on, you, you normally like it's sink, you know, an inch or two, yeah. and these ones sink, you know, several feet down. So you just yes. like, like your, your legs just, look, like it's like walking around. in deep, it's like walking in deep snow. Like it goes up to your waist as you just sort of like stumble around. The giant looks at you and, <laughs> slams the staff again and turns and walks out the door. Um, so right now just in this enormous chamber, you know, hundreds of feet across, okay. which, you know, is, like, it's a big room yeah. for but giant scales, but it's enormous for you. On this bed that as you look up at the side is probably, you know, a dozen feet high, give or take. Safe to the mattress and I'll drown. Comes back and I start trying to jump. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I mean, so this bed is probably, you know, 25 feet by a good, you know, 25 feet roughly. I'm gonna double jump you. Oh my god. And it's hard for you to jump properly right now. I'll do it then. You're gonna try and double jump? Sure. Make an athletics check. Crimson may be an acrobatics check. Hell yeah. How high is the room? How high is the ceiling? Probably 30, 40 feet high. Don't hit the ceiling. That is 25. 25. That's a 13. As soon as you bounce, the rock just... <laughs> lions <laughs> launches you crimson, you know, five or six feet into the air, and then you slam back down to the mattress again. Wouldn't I go higher than that by default with my boots? You're not really jump. Well, you weren't jumping. She, I'm jumping yeah. her. So you, you, so you get launched, you know, you know, 15, 20 feet in the air. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> crimson just launches you and then lands the mattress again. Let's put aside my many regrets this campaign. Number one is not introducing myself to giants and just ants, because I'll just go, oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you all as you all rest here in this enormous giant bed, uh, you know, white silver sh sheets just piling every which way. Uh, if you're not careful, you'll slip and then get rolled into them. It's hard to get out again. <laughs> um, we're gonna call a short break, uh, at which point we'll return probably in you know 15 20 minutes. Don't go away. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.
are back. Welcome to the, uh, once again, to the Western Isles Dungeons & Dragons stream. My name is Sam Sorensen. I am the Dungeon Master of this Dungeons & Dragons stream. The party has uh, arrived on a floating isle in the sky in the court of the uh, Sky King, who has invited them for dinner. Uh, they are now resting on an enormous giant-sized bed. You know, roughly 25 feet across. Um, they bounced crimson very high in the sky <laughs> because she has boots that can do that. Uh, yeah, what do you do? Um, well, he's telling us that we're gonna eat dinner, so I guess we should hang out until then. Yep. Or a meal. It, uh, it's. Oh no, it's, are we the meal? <laughs> it's probably like, what, early afternoon at this point? I mean, the sky rotates in a circle here, so they don't I mean, really. Yeah, we, I left in, we left in the morning, it's a four hour climb. It's probably early-ish afternoon. Do you mean back home or here right now? In respect to our yeah, day. I think, I think he's like getting at what we breakfast. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which so I it's, think it's good point in time. We'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Rock can eat. <laughs> so what do you do? Just sit in total silence and stare at each other? Is there anything interesting in the room? Other, I mean, I guess it's... There's just like just some the giant dressers side, and giant but, war robes, you know. I mean, Antaeus is, at the moment is an exhausted bitch. And it's <laughs> just like... Taking useless short rest after short rest. Does, uh, does Anteus have a deck of cards? Uh, no. Damn. Caleb, why don't all your characters have deck of cards? Because I thought I would get yelled at if I did that gimmick again. Why? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I only say that because I don't actually have a deck of cards in this jacket. Anteus, do you have a deck of cards? Yeah, I do. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I did the gimmick of being friends with Kay's character twice, so. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go with polar opposite. I'm actually a character who, if you put a deck of cards in my hands, it disintegrates. So. <laughs> Akron just like puts his arm out and falls back and lays in the bed. And Teus probably never stood up after being tossed on the bed. Does Takrin close his eyes? Just awkwardly bouncing down? there while they bounce on the bed. Yes. Yeah. Crimson's 100% gonna go right next to Takrin and jump up and try and bounce him <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Make another legs roll. Hell yeah. Is this per- perception? Is it perception? Probably uh, not. I think you would just, just notice she's, this. she's not trying to be sneaky about it. Yeah. She's just like, oh, he's not paying attention. I'm going to fucking launch him when he's not paying attention. <laughs> That's, oh, cool. That's a five. <laughs> yeah, so you try and attack her, just kind of like, Wah. Damn it. He's too thick uh, for me. Um. um. <laughs> try it, Crimson? Try it. Try again. <laughs> the rock's going to double down soon. <laughs> okay. Right. Make it like check. Crimson, make me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics check? Mm-hmm. Only yeah. a 16. We're gonna die. As this happens, Hacker just slowly shakes his head. Uh, that's a that's a 16. Yeah, so <laughs> once again, you're launched you know, 15 feet into the air. Hell yeah. Are you gonna try and then bounce Hacker? Absolutely. Make me an athletics trick. Hell oh, yeah. Boy. Why are you running with advantage? Disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage, that's right. Yep. Did you get advantage if you jump high? No. No, Damn. that's a thirteen <laughs> on athletics. Yes, yeah, so you land on Tagrin like you flop like a like a foot or two in the air, and then back onto your back again. Huh. Tagrin is uh, not small, so it's hard to get you know. Oh, I know. A lot of bounce. I mean, actually, Tagrin is <laughs> well, he's, the he's second still, smallest he's, out of all. Right, small, but, but you're, you're short, but you are quite broad. You are you are what we like you're to dense. call thick. <laughs> yeah, compared to Tagrin or compared to the Crimson, the like wispy sixteen year old girl. Yeah, exactly. Being launched by Throck, the the six eight dude. Yeah. She's fine. She, she's Sorry, a five foot me. tall, slender, sixteen yeah. year old girl. Yeah. She does not weigh much. <laughs> so you just sit around bouncing each other for a while. They're trying oh, to yeah. charm, right? <laughs> you trying to bounce Takrin again? Why don't you just bounce Takrin? <laughs> sure. Okay, make my legs check. Why didn't you? Uh, twenty-seven. Yes, yeah, so you jump. Like, why didn't you <laughs> launch into something more fun in the air? And then, at which point, Takrin, you now are launched like a few, like oh, almost a standing position. <laughs> Before you flop back down again on the bed. Oh. Okay, let, me, let me just jump into the air, transform into like the what is it called, the Ankylosaurus or whatever, and then just oh, God. bash onto the bed. Smack the bed with your tail. Hell yeah! I think I'd probably crush Takrin at that point. You, you could try. <laughs> what exactly is the scale like of us to the bed? Like, how big are we compared? To Twelve feet high bed. So it's okay. So it's a twelve foot high. About bed? thirty feet in either dimension. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright, so like, it literally is just like a trampoline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love, 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 love. It's like a trampoline if you put it real high up in the air. <laughs> this is a great idea. Hell yeah, honestly. Look, Mom! <laughs> oh my god. 
So you just hang around bouncing each other? Anything else you want to do? I mean, a while passes. Half an hour rolls by. I assume you begin to grow tired of bouncing each other. Probably. Mm-hmm. There's like not much to do. I'll, I'll just hang around and like idle chatter. Mm-hmm. What do you say? What are you talking about? Just nice weather we're having. <laughs> I can fix the weather here and never change the set. <laughs> Come and goes and creates some druid craft order right in front of the rock. It's just a, it's just like a weird wispy cloud, mm. but it's the cloud is tinged that same purple blue color. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that's canon now. <laughs> mm. I wonder why he invited us to stay. We did something for him and then offered to help him avenge his dead family. Possibly die in the process. Makes sense to at least offer food. Oh, we are going to be allies. allies. Everything we do. We're going to be allies. Makes sense. He does. I just. It seems. Um, suspicious? Not in a. I don't suspect him of malice. It seemed almost like uh, he, he hadn't thought to but to dinner until we were about to go. Perhaps. He did say he was lonely. Yes, that was. Oh god, is he gonna make us stay here forever? No. <laughs> Let me try this. You're my friends now. <laughs> this is like the reverse Percy Jackson thing. You remember the casino you go yes. into oh. the time of the is the slower. Just wait and see. Do you all sit in quiet town with big springy bed? We were just talking, Sam. For like two seconds. <laughs> well, then you interrupted us to say that we say nothing. Because you stopped saying anything. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, David? Shit. So we discussed. You learned anything new and new recently? Uh, <laughs> strange question. I just <laughs> learned a lot from this guy here. <laughs> oh my god, he's just gonna take from more <laughs> I thought he was like covering a sheet too. He was like, don't look. That wasn't on purpose, but I did actually exactly cover that section. Oh, I know. Um, Learned the the tackered bounces. Very well, too. (laughs) (laughs) Was that it? Did any of you sign up for either of the mission functions before we leave? Uh, Both. Neither. (sighs) Why? I was just curious, making small talk just. That is some pretty small talk. <laughs> Ready to storm yet another one. <laughs> Got him. They were, what was it? One was two or four percent of the other one was. Inspired. Yeah, it's inspired for the West. For the oh, okay, it's right now. I'm sure you read it really good, right? <laughs> Out of character, I was about to have Crimson lean over and whisper to Frog, Anteus can't read. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like trying to come up with a uh, way that it. Because I'm like, this is like asked Frog to. Like, what does that note say several times? Okay, but this explanation in Discord 2 is a completely rational thing. Oh, yeah, that, that last one was the most rational time ever you've done that. Like, like there was one time when, like, no, 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 I agree. You're, you're sitting like right next to something, and you're like, can someone else write my name, please? Say all this in character. <laughs> Funny if you're in character. Well, then we're talking about how... Yeah, so ex- ex- talk about that about Antaeus in character. But I'm trying not to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's two people. What? It's weird that Crimson is still a good person, Antaeus. <laughs> Almost like Crimson likes Antaeus. She just likes fucking with him. That's why she's she 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 a power friend. Exactly. She's smarter than... She knows about nature magic. <laughs> she could kick his ass. Her movie is her cool. She got good grades in high school. <laughs> she went to high school. She hasn't actually graduated. No. Well, they're both high school dropouts. Where? How old is Antaeus? Antaeus is, um, he can't answer his stereotype. Oh, he's Whoa, he's way older than I thought he was. Yeah. yeah. Antaeus was like 20. No. Well, I mean, like, I have an issue here, so this is my way of just funny for me to talk about it. Antaeus is a hot dad. Crimson was level yeah. 5 at 16 years old. I've... 
Yeah. Purpose yeah. of his denial or not. He's more of a stress environment. Yeah, true. Right. Right. Like, you're right. Like, Antigas is experienced kind of from chilling in a forest for 30 years. That's fair, yeah. You know, like, that's much slower progression. That's totally Antigas is, like, way more like a... Like, I envision, I always envision him as like a like a young like hot-headed guy, but he's really more like a like an old school like hippie dude. He's like a <laughs> middle-aged <laughs> dumb old man. I guess, <laughs> I guess that's true. Like, I've always been told that he looks younger than he is as a part of being not entirely human. Mm. Like, one of those things, the more humanity they wear, I mean, weird. He's definitely not human. He's a like Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Which is half. Yeah. Only one of us is human. The other day when Anteus was trying to explain um, um, guidelines from God, was Drew a picture instead of... Like, yes, you see, I want to explain this song. How, how does, does how was drawing that? it do that better than Fuck, is that canon? Oh, yeah, that's that's of course it is! Canon. That's 100% canon. It's gonna take some XP to replace. Oh, I have ground team on two. Shit. Only Proximal 13. Oh my god! And then I want to edit because I wasn't sure how seriously wanted to take logs, and then I was taking it back down and taking the XP. I think it was great. And you know, you get 150 for the game. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> Man, that 150 XP is really breaking its debt in 100,000. <laughs> As for the books, there was no point in writing a second log. We feel a far better from the end. I wrote one after you. Yeah. We get to write one day. Why? Because you cut a conscientious and small person. I was sitting there drawing pictures of other things. You have such beautiful words. Why not put them in writing? Next time someone puts a mission as one taste to draw self instead of putting in. No, you, every time you try to plan a mission, just draw it out, and I think we'll all understand it. Exactly. Did it draw instead of read? As a draw right. I don't think it's read. Well, what a single picture. That's a That's a it's like, it makes sense. <laughs> that tracks. Strange, but... Ha still laughing in character. Uh, but at this point you can hear <laughs> footsteps approaching, booming against the stone floors. At which point there's a doosh, 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 knock on the door. Who's there? Gordon Yardarindo. Who's coming? You speak giant? Okay, I thought maybe they would have sent something. I mean, Could ask he like, do. No, Can you talk normal? Just like, dish, dish, dish. Jordan Darindar. Jordan Bar. Can I reach the door by any single chance? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah,
Maybe I can make a backs roll. It's only, just... it's only 12 feet. Yeah, it's only 12 feet. I'm hanging by my hands. But my feet you're hanging are only on the, like You're hanging onto the edge of a fluffy bed? Isn't there a frame underneath it? Yeah, that's the part that hurts. Yeah, I mean, but like yeah. it's... I mean, the frame of the bed. It's still like several feet down to the frame. Make I'm, a break roll. I'm just jumping off. Okay, make a break roll. Oh, gosh. This is a seven. Seven? Okay, Throck, you suffer. Uh, two points of damage. And are not yeah. prone. Thirteen. Yeah, you just land with the warriors. Uh, Crimson is going to start barreling yep. forward, sprinting, and then as she gets to the door, she burns a point of exhaustion <laughs> and launches herself up onto the So head. you always watch this. Crimson just... just Absolutely hurls herself into the air, alights in the door handle, and grabs onto it. How much do you weigh? Crimson weighs a good, maybe like 106 pounds. Okay. Well, as how, you, much, how much do you carry? Oh, yeah, which, with how your much gear. I'm carrying like 50 pounds. Okay, so yeah, so with your gear, you're fine. The door just Neato. swings down. Um, the door doesn't open? The handle doesn't turn, but the door itself doesn't open. Like, try and pull one. Got a lasso over and. So you, you just grab like under underneath the door, or what are you doing? Uh, at first, sure, and then if it starts to come out, like the side. Did the like, door, check. Did the door open in I'll, or out? I'll, Inwards. Okay. <laughs> just start the string. Yeah. The rock's like trying to pull the door and like to push. <laughs> oh, that's the match. Um, twenty-one. Twenty-one. So between two of you, you've been just heave it open. As you see now, a giant head sticks its head and looks around at the three of you. Barum din dal nanathkral. Erstuling. You saw the bed. Borum badal. Kamen. Borstum gala. Harm harm. Yeah, here's. Borstum. Borstur nana. Oh my god, Crimson's gonna drop down from the handle, click her boots and feather fall again, and start walking. <laughs> I have been imagining this like oh. um, Woody on the Moon in Toy Story. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I taste is gonna jump off. Okay, my panic, ready for it. Bear my yard disadvantage. I'm away. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, so you, you land on your ass and suffer three points of damage. Sounds like me. All right, well, I'm gonna leave. Crimson's okay, like, so the four of you all begin to yeah. shuffle out. Crimson's like hopping um, and panting as she walks very, very slowly. It's giant, just like. <laughs> behind you. At one point, you reach a fork of the road and you can just see the spear just point above your head to the left. <laughs> <laughs> so you found it. It takes you a little while. It takes about ten minutes of walking through this, these castle halls. These, the inside here don't have quite the same level of like of uh, silver and gems and things. are sort of smooth, pale stone, um, lit by glowstones and windows and things. Uh, you eventually find yourself now entering into a, uh, a large open uh, hall that you can tell is a banqueting hall. Um, it has this massive table, hundreds of feet long, rising you know a dozen feet into the air, mm -hmm. uh, upon which you can just barely make out like things stacked. Um, you see the giant spear point again. Nordstar Baldum. Um, and he, uh, uh, he points you down to the end of, to the end of the table where you can see, um, there is this large wooden chair, uh, high backed, higher than the rest of them. And inside of them are, there are, there are two on each side, um, like, wooden columns. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see how ladder notches set into them with chairs at the top. Nice. <laughs> Sky King looks at you, it's sitting at that table. Ah, you here? Good, good. Come, come, come. Sit in these chairs of mine. Sure. Yes, yeah, so you clamber up these ladders um, before you sit in the chairs. Uh, they have you can tell now fixed to them on, on sort of like swing things. You're like those like desks that you can swing around in front of you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're in a high chair. I assume it's. Yes. I assume we're set up kind of like this. Yeah, actually, I didn't up. even think of that, but yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. This is the two. <laughs> Uh, except that there's, you know, a good right, probably. Right. we're on. There's probably 20 feet between the, yeah. between these two sides. Mm -hmm. So just like for so the clarification of what's happening, these yeah. chairs would have had to have been at table level. Yes. And they have a small thing that swivels away. That yes. We are in high chairs. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We're <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> we are. We are children. <laughs> Thank you for your accommodations. Yes, of course. And you see a few more giants. Fell. The, the table is not filled by any means. There's probably half a dozen other giants here, um, dressed in sort of like robes and tunics and things. Um, occasionally they have like you know gauntlets or bracers, but not much in the way of armor or weapons. Sure. Did we see the, um, or did we see earlier? I guess because I don't think it was mentioned. The guards that were standing by him with the many like rings on their arms. Yeah, you saw them earlier. Okay, so they were and they were standing by this guy earlier. Yes, they, that was one of the ones that, that grabbed you and carried you. Okay, it was one of those one of those ah. guards. Just, just making sure that they were the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, at which point the uh, Sky King <laughs> claps his hands again, and you can see other giants begin to file in. There's just like a sudden, there's like bah, 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 all of their feet just stomping around this hall um, as they just lower these like massive platters of food, filling an already filled table. Um, you know, like there are whole hogs on individual plates, like just yes. insane quantities of food. <laughs> um, Literal barrels. I mean, a giant, to a giant, like barrels, like a mug, right? So they have sure. barrels of, of, of drink. <laughs> Sit down for them. Sky King looks at you. I don't know how you're going to eat. It's mm. alright, I'll figure it Just out. Just out the apex. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on, give me a second. He leans over the table and he, like, grabs, like, a literal cow <laughs> and just, like, tears the strip off and drops it onto each one of your plates. Just this <laughs> boosh, huge slab of roasted beef. Thank so you. Um, so, like, our mess kits would have the pencils out of the Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure that we have our flat, my silverware. <laughs> he just, like, passes his mug of ale around, you can just, like, scoop out of okay. it. I kind of figured <laughs> it was, like, a two-pronged fork and, like, a shitty spoon. So yeah, like, yeah. I mean, you don't have any plates. You don't have any utensils yourselves. It's just these, like, sort of, like, trestle, like, desk table yeah. things. Yeah, Crimson is just eating it with her hands. <laughs> <laughs> you see the giants occasionally use, like, like, uh, utensils? Like, they have a knife or occasionally, like, a ladle. But they mostly eat with their hands as well. Oh, well, if they're doing it, I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> well, if they're all doing it. Like, if they're not using silver, I don't wanna make them feel bad, right? And Tatis is extremely excited about the sheer quantity of well cooked meat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, there's, there's also just this, like, constant, deep, low, like, for, for you, like, slightly, like, desk rattling rumble of, like, we're, we're just giants just talking to each other, yeah. but it kind of makes the whole thing just have a slight vibration to it. <laughs> Sam, how good is it? How good is the meat? I mean, like, <laughs> the strips you got are, like, kind of. Like it's it's weird mm-hmm. having this like like you don't often get like a whole like yeah, length yeah. of cow <laughs> dropped on you. Um, it's not bad though. Nice. How's the uh, how's the alcohol? Uh, quite strong. Oh, yeah. Quite strong. Oh yeah. Like it tastes like ale that somebody has just spiked with like raw grain alcohol. <laughs> oh hell fucking yeah. I mean, right, they're, like they're they're giants. Like they <laughs> it takes them a lot of alcohol to get them drunk. <laughs> cool. Um. So as as you sit and begin eating, like it, like. Even just the slab that this guy can drop on you, it's just like, like this is more meat than you get in a week. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I mean, if, at last chance you buy it, you can get more. But like, I mean, you don't normally get much meat at the last chance in the gruel you get. <laughs> and so it's just like, and it, it, like you just eat it and you just like eat and eat and eat. And it's like, man, it's just like you're barely halfway through these slabs. And the giants, you know, have just torn through at least a dozen cattle already. Like they're just, like, I mean, they're giants. <laughs> Uh, do they rip the meat off of the bones of the cows? You can see occasionally they use a knife to like split one in half, but gotcha. yeah. Okay. Um, and I mean, again, bearing in mind the cow bones are, you know, like, yay big. Yeah. So you grab them. Just... <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so it's kind of like if you're eating like a chicken wing, and they're just kind of like probably smaller than that, maybe? Yeah, it's closer to like fish bones. That like like big fish bones, but still. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and you see there are like some non meat things here. Like there's, you know, they're passing around this loaf of bread the size of any of you, if not bigger. Um, <laughs> that um, you can see there are like vegetables, but like when you're a giant, like vegetables, like you have to eat like a hundred of them to like get any kind of value. Yeah. And so like, like it'll just be like a, like there are stews you can see have like, but like the stew is, or I guess it'd be soup, but it's like one, like it's not like there's chunks of things because chunks are so small for giants. It's like, just like a kind of a, like a mash. Sure. Um, but most of the meal is, is just meat. This guy can will pass around his 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 mug, his mug barrel to refill your drinks as necessary. Of course. Um, but yeah, like 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 I said, this alcohol is like much stronger than you were used to. But are you said it tastes it, like ale? It. I mean, it tastes like ale that's been spiked. Gotcha. So it's like the ale taste is reduced. Okay. Like if you spiked your beer with gotcha. you know, have to vodka roll, or something. Roll. Um, if you would like to, depends on what you're drinking. Yeah. Uh, how much are the giants drinking? I don't want to be rude. Oh, mugs upon mugs, like. Enough to drown you. Oh, yeah. many! I'm trying to drown all. All of you can fit in one of these you bugs. You can physically consume as much as them. You explode. Yeah, I agree. No, I know, but I want to keep them tasty. <laughs> oh, so like for them, a barrel is you. I see what you mean. Huh. Huh. All right, I'm rolling. Just a cost save. Save. Sure, yeah. In seventeen. Okay. I mean, you guys can decide how drunk you get. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Crimson gets extremely drunk. She's exhausted and she is fucking down in hell. <laughs> 16 year old girl. Yep. <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like I rolled a four con. <laughs> Yikes. And Tatus is hearty laugh drum. 
Where if anyone says anything, he just goes. <laughs> 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 the giants like look over you from time to time. Like one of them will like say something like "Baruj Nabar," and you just laugh at it, and they're like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> like hell yeah. He's like clearly intoxicated, but like uh, he seems more fine than you might expect. How much he's drinking? Do you steal Morin's mug? No. What? That's Morin. Morin will let me do that. That's fair. That's my. Sakrin's doing nice. pretty well. Also. Okay. Warren's a nice guy, but he probably killed me. <laughs> so this guy king is drinking as well, and you can see that they switch from ale at one point over to wine, served in these like glass decanters that are you, you know just also equally massive. You know, they're easily four or five feet high, um, and like they're the I mean they're the decanters, so they're like the like as big around as like a I don't know what would be the size like shit I don't know what, like what's What's like six? What's what's like tall but like skinny and uh, cylindrical? Uh, what? Like a, like, like, a, like a small tree. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say a test tube, but yeah. Like a test tube, sure, but you know, the size, like, but like five feet high. Um, as they pour this wine, it's rich and dark and red. Um, you can see the, the, the very more giants keep drifting in and out. It's blood. They keep getting progressively more drunk. There's at one point like they break out in singing that's just. <clears throat> Deafening, like just these enormous. Hardin, bardin, At one point, one of them picks up a cow and just throws it at the other one. <laughs> I mean, it's like, and the thing is, like, this is not even that raucous a party. Like, yeah. Sky yeah. King explains, like, this is a fairly normal banquet for them. Like, it's just like, yeah, that's fine. Like, this is, this is, like, this is a, a special occasion, but not that special. I'd say this is well Okay. Yeah, Crimson's out. Yes, yeah, so you've all gorged yourselves on meat and anything else you can find. Just, just. Guzzling down incredibly strong giant alcohol. Here's the thing, guys. We never tell them what's going on here, but we tell them <laughs> that, like, only if we are accepted into the realm. <laughs> 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 and we have to do regular missions and we come up and we fight as hard. We'll be back tomorrow. We gotta go talk to the Sky King of political stuff. It's cool. We're like, sorry, guys. Every Saturday we gotta go out to meet our bud. <laughs> Last time we were up there, we filled out Form 82J. Turns out we did film up, fill out Form 82. It's, it's a weekly performance review. <laughs> Giant bureaucracy. So after this has been going for several hours, uh, the sun has swept to the part where it's now darker outside the castle. Mm-hmm. It's behind the mountain at this point. Um, this guy can look at you. So, does anyone want to go for a ride? Or two? <laughs> Out and around? Yes. I see and is down. Sure. Fantastic. <laughs> Stands up. This is going to go well. Swaying <laughs> slightly. Down <laughs> drinking. Drive rock. Doosh, doosh. Rock drives inside. Mm, <laughs> bring me. Mm, oh, it's your. Mm, Barum Gajdabar. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Barum Gajdabar. All the giants stand up. A few, like, this guy can grab us a couple of you, one on each hand, and then a couple more giants <laughs> grab the other two of you. And you're all squirted down, down to, like, the, the sky hangar dock thing. Where there's, like. Like, I mean, it's like 30 giants just like in this room just yelling at about like random things in language none of you understand. Um, as you are stuffed forcefully into these saddlebags once again. Um, oh. Throck, high or low? Uh, I? Throck, you are stuffed upside down into the saddlebag. <laughs> the rest of you are right side up. I'm trying to break myself. Make an acrobatics roll. Only part. Right. Uh, 15. 15. Yeah, you sort of like awkwardly swim around as you see this guy gets on this, this again, pale gray rock and yells, Borujna Gabal, and he cracks the reins, and the rock just dive out. For your thoroughly intoxicated, oh overstuffed, exhausted selves. I'm not exhausted. We did okay. <laughs> Guys, it's happening again. <laughs> just rocketing outwards into the open skies with nothing but clouds beneath you, and this strange, dull, dusk half light. I need everybody with Throck to make a con save to see if you can keep your dinner down. <laughs> Which is not a discipline. <laughs> Correct. Oh, these are saving throws. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does that make a difference for you? Okay. What? Why does it make a difference for you? Because, because I have disadvantage on ability checks. Oh, yeah. 22. 22? 20. 20. 14. 14. Crimson, you, you feel it come up for a second, but you can't just keep it down. <laughs> you two are fine. Um, as you just hurtle this way and that through the skies. Uh, the Sky King just keeps mumbling and like laughing and yelling to himself and, and giant. Just Baj the Nurgar, Thrum the body turn and he looks at the whole team, hang on, and he just <laughs> turns as the rock just corkscrews through the air. Yeah. If you feel yourself start to slip, <laughs> grab her to the sides. It's like you're on a roller coaster and you put your arms up and there's no bar. <laughs> 
Yeah, so you're just corkscrewing and twisting and looping and turning. The rock just occasionally screeches out. I mean, it's 200 foot wingspan just soaring. The screeches just, just, just howl through the skies. You know, your eardrums are just <laughs> in a bad way after the giant singing and the sky king yelling in this rock. More, more wide. Um, eventually, it settles down slightly. The sky king you see reaches into a different saddlebag. Clink. Turns around. Wine. <laughs> sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Open your mouths. <laughs> just smashes across all of you. <laughs> Woo! Um, and, and, well, that, some, and then whatever you don't get, a lot of it ends up in the in the bottom of your saddlebags, so up to yeah. your knees in wine. Hell yeah! Yes. The giant king sky king just pours more. Uh, so One second. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Those, those of you can hear Crimson you oh. slurping with your nose. <laughs> a very long straw. <laughs> my, my souvenir curly straw. <laughs> I am my own wine box. <laughs> he looks at you. All right. I'm going to try something. Hold on tight. <laughs> you can Real see. Uh, hang on, I need slide to the music first, but. Oh, come on. Yes. Imagine if we fall out and end up in the Astro Zone. So, okay. you, <laughs> so you watch in a mixture of feelings as you see this guy king. He takes the reins in one hand and then he slowly eases himself out of the stirrups <laughs> and stands like he's surfing on the back of this rock as it wings in the air. He takes the reins. Wish me luck. <laughs> and he just rock. he just jumps off the side of the rock. Oh, he has the reins in one hand. As you watch, as he just leaps. Let me make a roll for this. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> that's that's a really good roll. <laughs> He's leaning out the edge, super excited. As he as he jumps, and you see as he jumps, the, the rock angles slightly, and so he grabs it and just swings, hanging on the other side of the rock, on the other side of the saddle, and then flips himself up Spider-Man style, and let's see if he sticks the landing. Oh boy. Oh, he does not. Oh. And just hurdles off the side. Like, like he's coming down to land on the rock saddle and just misses it. Just whoop, plugging it straight downwards. Oh boy. As he yells, Borum <laughs> At which point the rock just, okay. just takes off after this. We killed him. We get the XP. We get the rock. <laughs> Guys, I, I can't wait to get this rock surfing XP. Um, after about 30 seconds of falling, the rock swoops down and snatches him and he clambers back up into the saddle and <sighs> wipes something off his face. Well. More wine. <laughs> he reaches for a different saddlebag. Are any of you not taking wine? Oh, I'm taking. I've absolutely splashes more wine onto all of you. It's now up to your like, you know, like knees, like mid mid thighs for all of you, just in, in the wine in the saddlebag. As he just keeps drinking and drinking and drinking. Um, he just like eventually you sort of end up like far away. You can see the castle in the distance, but it's miles away. Um, but when he just sort of like sits back in his saddle, the rock just sort of gently keeping stride. And he sort of falls silent, staring out into the distance. Just endless clouds. So there's still like the like, stars and stuff. Oh yeah, the strange, the strange, uh, I mean the stars here look fairly normal, they're just in not normal constellations. Gotcha. Bear in mind, all of you are now quite intoxicated. <laughs> oh yeah. One moment after the silence and take us into the emergency <gasps> what did I miss <laughs> from his dropping in line? <laughs> Nothing. Stars. Just go. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yep. That what um, the Sky King said. There's the room by. Thurbun dum. Thurbun dum. Yeah. Most dum by. Raja dum yor din gabatra. What does that mean? What? What does that mean? It sounds like a song. Like a mm. uh, what? It sounds, it sounds like almost like a song the way you're saying it. It sort of is. It's a. It's a. It's a. Part of an epic. A saga. Something you say for the dead. What? Um, uh, it's not one of those weird flying rat demon things. Um, uh, Why would you say that? I'm just gonna just do a religion check to see if I know. <laughs> oh. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I know that one word for a uh, song for, uh, for the dead and not um, uh, the dead and the lost is a dirge. Mm. 
and just sort of flops forward, burying his head in the, the neck feathers of the rock. Mm-hmm. Let's have this sort of like sound, oh. which again just like rumbles distantly for all of you. Was it the rock or was that him? That was the rock. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This guy can't wait for his ass. He's so drunk. He's like, <laughs> You can see your case and go, oh. Way in the distance. You, you go there, mm. and she's pointing like kind of to the side of the, the, the island, <laughs> and and then down. But it couldn't carry all. <laughs> Crimson reaches for her staff, oh, no. Oh, no. swings it around her head, and suddenly Throck, you are an owl. <laughs> oh, if you are willing. If you're unwilling, then I will roll for it, but... Like, yeah, true. Uh, I don't think Throx is wisdom. Throx, I don't think Throx even knows what's going on. So awesome. It's like... Cool, so you're an owl now. Throx, you're transformed into this wine-soaked owl. <laughs> there, now he's... Now, 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 now he can just go fly down himself, too. It's perfect. He squints his wine. Sky King Owl. Also, he's going to be old. Tell him to drunk owl. Boosh, doom, boom. Kind of like leans. Leans around reaches the hand towards you. <laughs> you just pull it out of the way. The rock turns to leave. So and like, you see the rock ducks, darts around to look at you. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, Bear in mind, you are drunk and an owl. Um, sort of like, can't really fly straight. Sort of like wobbling through the air, like away towards one of the other saddles. It's all next. Okay. The rock just keeps like, like turning, sort of like not quite chasing you, but like definitely keeping you in its sights. Skucking keeps like grabbing at you, and you keep like just like <laughs> narrowly avoiding it. Crimson is, Crimson is inside her saddlebag, just dying laughing. Do you see the staff? Do you see like your staff just poking out? Burn, 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 burn. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, no. Try to evade both the rock and the sky king. So would I just roll another die and then? I think you would re-roll it as advantage again. Oh, well, I don't need to, because I rolled a 16. Yeah, so you just manage to keep darting out of the way as the rock rah, occasionally takes a few snaps at you, and the guy can just keep flailing after you. Polymorph is... An hour. An hour? Okay. Jesus. I thought it was 10 minutes. <laughs> you always end it early. And eventually, eventually the rock fucking plummet. Eventually, this guy can just rah, reaches for you over time and just slams back down to the rock feathers. Uh, I'm just going to land in one of the saddlebags. Okay. Your sure. saddlebag, or...? or um, is there one that's not filled with wine? Uh, yeah, but they have oftentimes other stuff in them. Um, like what kind of stuff? Arrows, feed, uh, uh rope. Um, I mean, those, are, those, those would be harder for you to fit in. That's true, but I'm an owl. That's fair. <clears throat> probably one feed. Okay. Just back out it a little bit. You body, like he's done. That's how it works, right? That's how I can tell me. Let's put this guy king. Mm, grabs another side of my just splashes wine all over his face <laughs> and then turns and just starts pouring more wine into all four of your saddlebags. Yes. <laughs> not not, yeah, but it's yours. He doesn't realize you're not there. His name was dozing off and just, oh. And he just takes him, pours the rest out into the, just a cloudy abyss beneath and just brr, sticks the finger out. Do you pour one out. that wine goes? <laughs> People inside the last chance. You suddenly see the weird red liquid fall by the side. <laughs> Mm, just slump it back down into the rock again. Why man is not Celestia? <laughs> rock Cyrus. Oh, there's stuff on. So what do you all do? You can now start to hear this guy king snoring. Well, I'm just hanging out as an owl. Okay. In a bag of feed. Okay. gonna go and kind of like poke her head out and go and kind of look around for Throck anywhere. I might hear him like hooting, maybe. I don't know. Uh, she's gonna go. How close together are the saddlebags? I mean, they're like up against each other, and each one's probably you know two or three feet wide. Okay, she's gonna go and kind of lean over. I assume she's probably the one nearby the rock. Sure. To try and lean over and see if he's in there. Yes. Sure. <laughs> I assume Throck's not in there because it's 
Which, he's in the other which, one. Which, I'm going to the one that you were in was, originally. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so he's not there. Just half filled with dark wine. Filled with wine. Patrick is kind of throwing his arms. I think over the edge of his saddle that I kind of okay. stay out of the line, which was up to like it, it, it's up to your like mid thighs waist area now. I think muscles drowned in the wine. She is extremely <laughs> drunk. She is okay. not recovered. At this point, as you say that, you hear this cooking. What? What? How? How? What was your mom? Shut up! Shut up! What did you say, Crimson? Muscles isn't in here. He... Oh, I. No! <laughs> <laughs> She's just like ears with a roar of pain and agony. No! Pops the wine her hand, pours it out, pours one out. And she just like scoops his hand up. Hello, boy. There's like wine. <laughs> Oh. Well, no, I don't have to wonder what Cox's funeral will be like. Crimson's gonna. <laughs> That's your plug. Crimson's gonna uh, create How a. How aware are you that you have concentration of? Uh, no. Just like in general. She is not at all, and at, at, because of that, she's going she's to really create a flame in her hand and go and launch it upwards. Her muscles. And with that, you turn back into the rock as she drops off. She's like, oh. Yes, you wake up. You're like shrink down to your waist in this bag of feed. He's like resurrected. What? What? Oh. Okay. He. What? Why? He speaks from beyond the grave. No, 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 no. Look, 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 look. I see his ghost. He moves. Oh my God. Are you did, dead? Did I did I bring you back? I you see know, still, ghost. still same body. Maybe you came back with the same hit, body. Hit, hit rock, higher low. Always high. He's come back to tell us something. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is something important to say. I'm not dead speak, yet. Speak, speak, ghost of. Muscles. Uh, sure. Muscles. Mm. Yes. Fuck you, Crimson. <laughs> hey! I feel like there's one Crimson probably killed Crimson. No, no, just. No. Like, as, like, as, like, as, like, as, like, as, like, as. Silence! As king of the skies, for killing <laughs> muscles, I sentence you, Crimson. Why? To drink my entire saddle of wine. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh boy. That's a four. You are very lucky. <laughs> Stern but fair. <laughs> Slams back into the side of a rock. <laughs> Ducks her head underneath, and you just hear furious <laughs> the, the, the rock is, is like kind of stable, right? Yeah. I could theoretically climb up onto it and over Smyrna. I'll take an acrobatics strike, but yeah. I'm gonna attempt to get Smyrna back. Make me an acrobatics strike at disadvantage. Because oh you are boy. intoxicated and high in the air. And... I'm gonna fall off. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That's a 19. Yeah, so you, you scrabble and scramble and thunk back down, <laughs> splashing into the wine at the bottom of your saddlebag. Oh, sweet home. <laughs> Like, you hear like a, a minute of like slurping and all of a sudden Crimson bursts her head back out and rubs her head to the side. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I didn't finish. She goes back into the sand. Oh. A hero's battle is, is never one thing. You're about to die about <laughs> Are you really trying to drink the whole? She's not. Okay. Crazy, no. Okay. She goes and kind of like puts her head in there. What if After she... a few seconds, you kind of hear a snore. <laughs> what if she like accidentally puts a hole in the bottom so it drains and she thinks she did? Yeah. <laughs> so at this point, the Sky King, his snores are just echoing out of the, across the skies. You see the rock like twist its head all the way around. <laughs> then it just turns and starts flying back <laughs> into its castle. <laughs> Sort of flying back. Is everyone else still conscious? I'm awake. I am, yes. But like, you know, awake. Yeah. I am technically conscious. 
this. <laughs> they're really confusing. Yeah, like, they're confusing nice. anyway, but they're confusing for you, especially right now. Wait, maybe it's not. Is Takran that sober? Yeah, Takran sounds pretty normal. Yeah. What reason? You guys hear like a splashing noise. <laughs> Crimson's just like, ah, what? Huh? What? How's the guy? How's the wine coming? Huh? You drink all of it yet? Huh? You can just sense the skin, oh. skin says so. I thought you said. <laughs> 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 you said like something like skin. I said skin. It's stinky. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give him now. You know. Yeah. So far. You're right. Muscles <laughs> dips back in. <laughs> That's the spirit. You don't hear anything. You, know, she's, oh, no. oh, she, you, you hear like a bubbling noise for a Bull. second. She pulls her head back out. I, I, Pour one out, guys. Dumb squirms in his He's like, looks down. Uh, did, did he did he say I need to drink the wine? Yeah, he, he said he was winning. See the, no. the castle is getting closer and closer, but you're still always out. Uh, uh yeah. Oh, uh, cool. It's Tabs. Tabs. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in the tap room. Um, uh, castle. Uh, King's castle. Right. Giants. It's it, it, it really always the, the castle not, not getting closer, it's getting bigger. Uh, I, <laughs> mean, I mean, it, it's it's a giant, so. The castle's a giant. That's, that's what they do. You found they, it! They, they, oh they, my god, it's, it's, um, there's, there's a problem with it. They, they get it. big, right? Like, the, the guards mm. on the bridge, they got big when we got big when, um, Things look bigger. Right, well, it's, I have depth Oh, no, you don't. Oh, right. right. You, have, you, have, you have one eye. That yeah. sucks. Right? That, do you still have one eye? Yes, I still have one eye. All this only had one eye, but I had a magic eye. Well, wasn't, wasn't he the one who wanted to get fucked by a dragon? <laughs> you don't see that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted the, the dragon to fucking weird, um, weird person. 
Wouldn't it be only a 500 yard stare? Fuck yeah. Why? I think not good. When you're a kid, they say don't say a fuck. Who, who says I, that? What? I, I, I'm a kid. I don't say that. Well, then they would say don't say fuck. Who? Who would say that? Who, who's they? Who oh, oh, they is. The elf, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Rain I've never said that. How did you say that word to Throck? No, 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 no. Not, not, oh, not rain, rain, rain. It's, well, can it rain? <laughs> <laughs> so, as this building <laughs> conversation continues, the rock wings ever closer back to the castle, at which point, in various states of, of remembering this, you are. Picked up by some by some kindly giants and escorted to your bed where you're all thrown. Um, <laughs> you all wake up with raging headaches. I think I said fuck last night. Yes, you certainly. Uh, uh, so you wake up and all all of your clothes are stained red. <laughs> yeah, it was still unrest. Oh hell yeah! Well, um, I know because I didn't have any. Yeah, so all your clothes are stained red, like. You just feel like your mouth feels like it's covered in fur, raging, fiery headaches. Um, Water skin. You see, the ne- next to the uh, next to the, the bed on the ground, there are indeed four barrels of water that have been set out. I was gonna say, Antanas oh, is yeah. just lying down and in prime yeah, order. They're, 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 on the, they're on the floor, right? I'm yeah. Attempt to drop down. <laughs> okay, maybe an acrobatics turn. Yep. Seven. Okay. Throck, you suffer. Six. Uh, four points of damage. You just whoosh, onto the ground. How far yeah, are yeah, you land perfectly. How far away from the bed are the mugs? Uh, you know, five, ten feet. Are, are, Could I feasibly jump from the top of the bed into sure. the mugs? Sure. Make an so, extra. So like, Thrawn like tries to to start lowering himself down, and he just like slides off. <laughs> What's, how big are these mugs? I mean, they're barrels. They're barrels. They're barrels. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, Seventeen. Yeah, you land fine. Oh, oh are you landing bad. in the thing? Yeah. It's just whoosh, <laughs> splashing into the water. Crimson's just gonna roll off the bed. Give <laughs> me roll. She's, she's not even trying. Okay, so you, don't, I'll, you take two I'll, points of damage, you just cool. bump into the ground. So it's, it, they're, they're just like, are they sealed barrels? Or they no, they're open. Okay. They're open. You just tilt it over and just. Yes. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Uh, <clears throat> starts to like pull herself up on top of one of them and just sticks her head in. <laughs> you hear a bubbling from Antaeus for a moment and then. <sighs> <laughs> nope, come on back. <laughs> Water skin. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So you, you notice like underneath your nails and like your lips are stained a little purple as well. Your nails are just like just gross. Like your everything is just stained. Like your skin is sticky in places. Just like just a. Like, lean it back up a little bit. Just kind of like wash. Yeah. Yeah. It works somewhat. Your clothes are gonna be harder to deal with. Yeah. Like not even trying that hard. It's still. After still... a little while, you hear like a. <laughs> On the door. Yeah, um, it's open. The door swings open. You can see a, <clears throat> a giant, same sort of dusky purple gray skin. Um, it's forward. Greetings, hello. Um, I'm afraid the Sky King is rather unwell this morning. See you. So I shall be here to uh, escort you with anything you need. Thanks. Um, we're going home or what? Going home. Thanks. So, you can't go back to the sun and the sun hurts. No, no, no. Follow me then, please. Okay. And this giant. I don't have Only K has those, unfortunately. And Tanis just puts on the second eye patch. <laughs> you have two eye patches? Uh, um, I think I was like using like a regular metal one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, he was like a golden one yeah. that has your holy symbol. Sure. Hell yeah. Um, and I'm like, not knowing how to get out of the barrel, and Tanis is just like, I'm gonna like knock <laughs> out. I like to attempt to lift you out, and I'm like, not doing a great job. Knock myself over in water. The giant robe just looks you. I apologize. <laughs> so you're escorted back to the main throne room. Um, I'm dripping. Where you can see the, the slab has been wrapped in like canvas and rope now. Um, and there are two uh, two of the guards, not the heavily armored ones, the lighter ones. These two shall escort you back to the way you came. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. In the 
you decide to know the gods, mm. naturally. We, we could not say so. We can always just give them our regards ourselves with the rock. We could, yeah. We could. At which point you are all then escorted back across the bridge, which is real frightening in this, in this state, um, back through the forest to the edge of the beanstalk. Right. Um, Giant no. lowers a stone. Where does the road go? The road leading to your camp. You're asking the giant? Yeah. Um, we check left. Yeah, we check left. Like, like they might be. Like, they might not say if it goes up into nothing. Forever. It leads to the landing step. Do you need to be welcome? No. What if we did? We have to be presentable. I understand. Let's go. So you have this big rock wrapped in canvas. These giants bang their spears in the ground and turn and start walking off. Wait, I... Aren't they gonna... Mm. Weren't you gonna help us? <laughs> Ow. You could just drop it. No, I, I don't think we ever received orders to do so. Oh. Apologies. No, that's so it's fine. fine. <laughs> it moves, moves over to the other side of the rock and starts trying to push it and doesn't push it at all. Dark's gonna see the, all the work. <laughs> Are you gonna push it off the side? Yeah. Great. Well, hold on. Great. Well, in a way that makes sure, make sure it doesn't fall into another plane and it falls to the material plane. How would you do that? Aww. We have no idea, dude. Like, yeah. just push it off with the beanstalk. Like, literally just... How far yeah, how far is like the, the routes that we had to travel to get onto the beanstalk from the island? How like how far along is that little like bridge? Five, ten feet, not far. Yeah, so just like push it up onto there and then drop it. Yeah. The, the beanstalk's sense. like yeah, we'll be fine. If, if all else fails, I'll jump after you find my body. Yeah. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we climb back and, up and get another and one. Then, and then we can Exactly. Yeah. Well you just revivify. Nah, 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 nah. We don't have um, them with us. No one has revivify with us. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're like coming back with something new. I taste the no. <laughs> God, what a Amon Tears Aurelius. No, no, it'd be great. Hello, I'm Tears Aurelius. He'll die, and instead of getting like body dysphoric like Cassandra, well, he'll just keep killing himself until he comes back oh, as a Ganassi shit. again. Wow. Which is arguably worse. That would take, that would take multiple days though. It's only, what do you mean instead of getting body it. dysphoric? <laughs> it basically is just like, oh, I don't like this. Let me change. You like, have one pit level spot though. Yeah, but you know, it yeah, takes a week. Yeah, yeah. Take, it takes a few weeks. Yeah, that's fine. Also, Martin has gentle repose, right? Yeah. 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 That doesn't really make a difference, though. Alright, well, I'm gonna push this off the side. Okay, okay I'm gonna strike check. Drop. Absolutely. Absolutely. Should, should, should yeah. you push it off the side? That's what Sky can do. Yeah. Sky can push it off the side. Yeah. 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 Push it off the side. How else are we How gonna get else? it down? I yeah, can really carry it. You can say that we survive the fall and I can find the objects if they need it. Worst case scenario, we come back, tell them it broke, get a new one. Which would be the truth. Exactly. Yeah. Unless it doesn't break. Did so. you think we were going to come back and lie to him to get another stone? No, sorry, I'm still processing to level. Yeah, that's, that's your normal state. Mm-hmm. I thought you said. <laughs> Never mind, I don't <laughs> actually say that. Crimson does not remember that at all. Alright, you said strength? Yeah. yeah. 22. Crimson, you're like, wow, I'm really strong. And you're gonna <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just off the side. You watch this down, Security out of view, through the clouds, and just vanish from view. Great. It's, uh, Alright. Let's go. I'll just tie us together. Sure. Okay. 18, 2, <laughs> 18, 2, and 1. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. And you're all climbing you're all climbing down the rope? Yep. Mm-hmm. Or down the uh, down yeah, the main side? Yeah. Okay. So in reverse order now. So am I Well the same order but You're at the down. top. So, mm. I'm, so on taste goes down first, then me, then No, I think Should, we would want well, to do it the other way, because the, the strongest mean. people up top, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. David's on number two. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I need three athletic checks from everyone. Yeah. Bearing in mind that if you're at levels of exhaustion. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. Oof. What a wave. Oh my god. <laughs> what a waste of a second half point. Alright. It makes you feel better. I feel a little bit. Oh my god. Alright, so Sam, I have a 17, an 18, and a 33. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
Uh, attack round. 15, 15, 16, 17. Crimson? Uh, 6, 13, 13. Oh. Hell yeah. And Tess? 15, 13, 7. Um, yeah, so as you reach the bottom, Crimson, you almost fell a couple of times. <laughs> um, but I mean, you're climbing to your safety, right? The, the ropes in between you guys start breaking, but you can fix those along the way. Uh, as you reach the bottom, um, it's, you know, four hours down means that it's about probably 12.31 tomorrow. Sure. Oh, yeah. There's a crater next to it. Um, you can see it, 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 it skimmed the edge of the pyramid. Um, so it's sort of just like this big crater. It's about 50 feet in diameter. Um, you can see just like charred like rock and earth scattered around it. It fell six miles! Hell yeah! You're right. You dropped this stone at fucking terminal velocity. Like... Did we not cure it hit the ground when we were talking about? No, I mean, because you push it, it falls way faster than you do. Yeah, that's true, but like... Oh, still. Is there like a reasonable assumption that some brand for that stone is a dapper, or can we say that it's in the middle of the crater? Well, I think it's pretty well stuck in the middle of that crater for now. Oh, okay. Dude, I can't wait for uh, hours before we come back to the tap room. Sam's just like, everyone hears a loud, resounding boom outside. So this is going to happen at like 9 in the morning. <laughs> oh, okay. we'll be I have to register for classes at 9.30 tomorrow, so I will. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. How deep is the crater? You know, like 5, 10 feet deep. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Oh, um, I, mean, it, it, yeah. I mean, like the crater is sort of like dip-like, but the actual thing itself is stuck like most of the way, and you can see the canvas is entirely burned off it. Um, <laughs> <seems fun. laughs> I love it. Uh, Antaeus, you have suffered two levels of exhaustion. Crimson, you have suffered three levels of exhaustion. Oh boy. Yes. Oh boy. So Crimson, you're at five right now? I'm at four now. Four. 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 Yeah, so you are, you're disadvantaged on every roll. You have speed halved and your hit point maximum is halved. Oh, sick. Yeah, so Crimson is just a wreck. Crimson. What do you know, climbing down a tower, down a six mile beanstalk hungover. <laughs> spend, spend a few hundred gold with the crater restoration. No, it's fine. I'll just, I'm not going on any missions. So. I'll just <laughs> die. It's fine. Yeah. Just don't, and then, Teus, you this. don't have your hit point maximum half, but everything else I think is affecting you, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to try and pull it out? Yeah. Uh, make me a strength check. I'll help. Make a strength check with advantage. Crimson is just watching, like, leaning on the ground, just like. 19. Continue. The two of you heave on it, power squatting, but again, does not move. It's been um, a long while working on it. Uh, huh. um, I don't know. So I think we're going to leave this for now and resolve it tomorrow. Okay. Just because other people might come out and start trying to help you. Sure. Oh, we need to enter the tap room or else uh, if we don't go inside, we don't get our XP. Yeah. That's completely how that works, sure. It is how it works, Sam. Let's get inside. Uh, let me do some math. <laughs> Oh boy. How much XP do you think we get? Uh, how much, uh, how, how much XP do you think we get for killing that section of the ground? <laughs> yeah, we defeated the ground, guys. <laughs> the ground is notoriously dangerous. We defeated the ground, we defeated the Sky King. We defeated the Sky King, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. If you defeated the Sky King, just wait for Sadness to, to we, to uh, we got him drunk. I defeated him because I created his grasp of the mouth. Oh my god. The person managed to trick him. That's, yeah, it's like, it's <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, alright, this XP is actually super simple. You each get 2500 XP. Hell yeah. Um, this concludes our short and weird, goofy session of drunken shenanigans and climbing towers and diplomacy with giants. Um, our streams are normally significantly more, uh, Grim? Grim, yeah, that's a good term for it. Grim, brutal, dark, dangerous, frightening. Have combat. Yeah. We don't have combat, we don't only have dungeoneering, we don't only have like things that aren't just frolicking. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's always good to frolic occasionally, especially when it's in the sky in another plane with a sky king. Uh, yeah, so we will see you on the next stream. Uh, the next one should be Saturday, I believe. Yes. yes. Unless anything significantly changes, we'll post about it on Twitter and on our Discord. Remember to follow us on Discord, Twitter, Twitch. We have our subs available now. We're working on getting our emotes soon. Um, other than that, thank you again for watching. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, great. And we will see you 